In this new tutorial, you'll learn how to download and extract JSON objects. Use a table view with a custom cell with images and strings. Download an image from a link and display it in the cell table. Define and use a detail view. Store images in the phone gallery. This is what you'll obtain. Let's create a new Xcode single view app project. In the main storyboard, add the table view element. Define the top, left, right, bottom constraints. Add inside it a table cell. Put inside the cell the views you want. In this case, I'll put an image view and the text label. Set the constraints. Create the class that will link the cell to custom variables. Open the assistant editor and link the image in the text label. Let's now define the function that will download the data from a link in an asynchronous way. As soon as the download is done, a protocol delegate is called with the received data. Download now the JSON object. We'll have this structure. An object that contains the array with the media server and the data. The data is defined by an array of objects that contains the file name and the title of the images. Let's fill the table view using the previous defined function, getData. Let's implement the delegate. The function process request is called as soon as the data is received. The JSON extraction is done first by extracting the object, then the array of objects inside the data element. Go back to the main storyboard, add a new UI view controller view. Put inside it an image view and a button. Create a new custom cell for this view. Define the constraints for the views. With the assistant editor, link the views to variables. Define the did select table view function. As soon as you press on a cell, this function is called. You'll have to push the detail view in the view hierarchy and define the selected object as an input. The detail view in this basic example will just download the full quality image. The button, instead, will call the function that will store the image inside the device picture gallery. This function requires to put inside the info.plist a permission, the NS photo library usage description. You'll just have to put the description as a string. If you enjoyed this tutorial, share it. If you want to watch other tutorials like this, subscribe to this channel.